Well, only Dolly can tell. Okay. Talks like a duck. Talks like a duck. The golden girl of Nashville. Cut you. And John Ritter. <laughs> Smoky Mountain Christmas lived in a beautiful castle built upon a grassy green hill. People thought she had everything. They envied her talent, her fame and fortune, and they said her spirit could light up the darkest corners of any heart. But every morning when she looked down from her castle window at the smoggy city of Hollywood, she knew deep in her heart that something was missing. She just couldn't put her finger on it. The one thing she did know was that lately she'd been listening to everybody. Everybody except herself. Okay, I see it now. All right, my friends, this is the one. I feel it in my bones. I'll have lots of energy, all right? I'd like to get this done before my visa expires. Playback and action! Two, three, four. Going great, Lorna. Have I told you how beautiful you are today? Beautiful. I can't see, I can't breathe, I'm getting tossed around like a rag doll. That's the choreography. It's very exciting. This is like a roller derby. This is not what I wrote. This is not country. Is my manager here, Ned? I'll get back to you on that. Coming in. Right here, Duncan. Right here. Here I come. Uh, uh, could you folks uh, just give us a moment? Ned, would you just excuse these people? I think this is the wrong setting for this simple song. Wouldn't it be better if I just went outside somewhere? And... Uh, sweetheart, this is what is hot. We are... I am trying to cross you over. Maybe in a beautiful meadow with some little birds singing? We could build a meadow. We could get a bird wrangler. A bird wrangler? Uh, someone to keep the birds from flying away, make sure they don't make a mess. <laughs> Oh, well, why don't you build some little robot birds, and in that way you won't have to worry about a mess or anything. That's not out of the question. Ned. You want me to call it off? Please. Wrap it. Now, wait a minute, dear heart. Do we really know what we're doing here? 
Dear heart, what we do know is that we really are not doing this video today. Excuse us. Strike the set. Strike the set. Now, Lorna, I am genuinely worried about you. Oh, I don't know, Ned. I'm half tired half the time. I'm half crazy the rest of the time. Do you know that I have not written a song in months? Maybe I need to get away from all this. Christmas is coming up. Let me just... Can I just toss in a thought here? Please, that's part of your job description. And maybe you need to share these feelings with someone. Maybe you need to see a therapist. Great, Ned. Marie's gonna love this. Disgruntled Lorna storms off of set. All right, you absolutely need a rest. You gotta get some downtime. You gotta get those creative juices flowing again. Oh, Ned, I knew you'd understand. Thank you. Of course I understand. After the album, a couple of months, you can go anywhere you want. Lorna, what's 90 days? Lorna, listen, I don't want to pressure you. best friend. Now, she was too chicken to start the trouble that I usually got us into, but she was always there to help get us out. Oh, that can't be true, Mary Lou. Has it been that long? I've just been feeling real sorry lately. It's worse that it's Christmas, and now that Mom and Dad's gone, I got no close relatives to look up. cabin way back in the Smokies? Your, your, your grandparents' old place in the next county. Yeah. Perfect. That'd be great just over Christmas. Ah. Yeah, you can tell your brother to leave me that pickup truck just outside of town. I'll pick it up. favor now. You can't tell anybody I'm coming, okay? I'm gonna have a hard enough time sneaking off as it is, and I sure don't want to answer questions to anybody. Remember? Look at my face. Yeah, I know you. You're that crazy paparazzi photographer that's always squirreling me to death. I'm with Food and Gardens tonight. I'm doing a beautiful spread on, on stars and their pets. Uh, I have a deadline. Please, oh, please have some pets. Get away! Get away! Get away from me! Please open up, please. I have a deadline. I have a deadline. Oh, thank you. Get away! You flea bag! Nice foot. Taking pictures, it's bad enough you're in here already. Sit! I'm sitting. I'm comfortable. Vernon! Vernon! Get up here right now. Get this weird person out of my room. This creep out of here. It will be the most enormous pleasure, madam. Allow me, sir, to introduce uh, you to the door. Where's the jacket, Vernon? Please, uh, don't press charges, okay? Because my editor will fire me. I wouldn't waste uh, my lawyer's time on you. Get this peeping Tom out of here. and thanks for saving my life. Oh. 
I'm sorry, Vernon. There's nothing in the world like the smell of fresh mountain air to make a person feel alive again. Mary Lou's old beat-up truck just seemed to drive itself along that smoky mountain road, and I had never been so happy to be home in my life. You scared the daylights out of me, Sheriff. I'm sorry, ma'am, but you were driving kind of reckless back there. I was? Uh-huh. Well, I really thought you were some sort of crazy lunatic. I mean, how was I supposed to know you as a sheriff? Sheriff. <laughs> you look awfully familiar. I, I didn't catch your name. Well, I didn't throw it yet. It's Luella, Luella Durbin, and I'm just passing through, just zipping on down the road a piece, moving on. That's me. Oh, that's too bad. Be nice if you could stay around. I could show you some things that really take your breath away. Well, now, I bet you could, but if I've committed no real crime, then I really need to be going. Man, the only thing you're guilty of, except for a little weaving around back there, is keeping those pretty eyes all covered up behind those shades. So I can go, then? You don't know what you're missing. But I can guess. Bye, Sheriff. Bye-bye. <laughs> Jezebel. What were you doing there, John? Oh, just somebody passing through. No, she's up to something. She's got magic. Will you cut that magic stuff out? Now, I got you out of trouble the last time, but... Don't give me that. Last time that woman deserved everything she got. Now, let's talk about this time. You were sweet-talking her, weren't you? You shouldn't do that, John Jensen. Look, I told you that what we had is... Over? Now, that's not what you were going to say, was it? Because you are mine and you will be mine forever. I am the most beautiful woman you have ever seen, aren't I? Whatever you say, Jeff. Jezebel, please. Remember that. Because if that blonde lady were to stay for a spell, she'll be staying for one of my spells. <laughs> Let me see. Madam retired at 9 o'clock. No. No, it's 9.30. There were no visitors before or after. And Can you excuse us, please? Well, of course there is. I'll be around if you need me. Thank you, thank you. We found a car abandoned at La Brea and Rodeo. The kidnappers must have switched vehicles and then taken off. There were no witnesses. As usual, everybody went blind for 10 minutes. Is this on the wire yet? No, no, sir. Let's try and keep it under wraps for as long as we can. Do you mind if I take this? Why? Fingerprints? No, souvenir. Are you crazy? Will you put that down? You haven't heard from her. 
and, and, and you've checked the machine and nothing. Great. All right. All right. Uh, listen, I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but she has been a little edgy lately. It is possible that she just took off. I mean, I mean why would kidnappers use her car? Because it's easier than driving their own vehicle through those locked security gates. We recovered that grappling hook. Evidently broke in the window, took her car, and they're off to the races. I don't want to hear this. You're telling me that you are positive that she was kidnapped? It sure looks that way. Oh. We'll keep it on file as a missing person for 24 hours until we finish the preliminary. All right, the bright side. If she did take off, she would have packed some clothes. I mean, this woman doesn't even go into the other room without a change of wardrobe. Vernon! Vernon! Well, is anything missing? Well, that's rather a tricky one, officer. You see, madam has so many clothes, it's very hard to tell. She could be anywhere. At this minute, Lorna could be trapped in the lowest, foulest, slimiest pit on the face of the earth. from the children's home? Whoever she is, she's got to get out of here. Should we wake her? I don't know. She's beautiful. She sure is. Mary, come, Mary, come back here. Mary, I know who she is. She's the angel. quality orange juice and it refreshes its raw nutrition and tasteful it's after work and after play it starts the day and spills over into the night orange juice there's nothing like it in the world 100% pure Florida quality have you ever seen those commercials where one battery outlasts the rest? We'd just like you to know Energizer batteries were never invited to their playoffs. A word to the wise, Energize. Up to $1,000 cash back on selected new Chevy cars. Up to $1,900 savings on preferred equipment groups of options on selected new Chevy trucks. No payments for 90 days if you finance your purchase through GMAC by December 31st and low GMAC smart lease payments. When Chevy goes out to put you in a new Chevy car or truck by the end of the year, Chevy goes all out. Don't miss out. Santa Fe. For centuries, men have been mysteriously drawn to it. Introducing Santa Fe Cologne for men. Discover the mystery of its attraction. Joseph Roquet suffers from frequent sinus headaches. 
I have nothing but pressure and build up but pain right in through here. That's when you need Tylenol Sinus with the maximum strength of Tylenol pain reliever to help knock out sinus pain and the maximum amount of decongestant to break up sinus pressure fast. It eliminated the pain and it eliminated the pressure. I feel great as a result of it. Maximum strength Tylenol Sinus medication. It's stronger than sinus headaches and it won't make you drowsy. The artist. Olympic gold medalist Brian Boitano, his partner, the incomparable Katarina Witt, their masterpiece, hot, sultry skating like you've never seen before. And ABC Sports First, Brian Boitano's canvas of ice tomorrow before ABC's Monday Night Football. A Smoky Mountain Christmas returns in a moment. Tuesday is the spirit of Christmas until Tony meets a Christmas spirit. I'll get right to the point. I'm a dead woman. Oh, boy. Who's the boss? Then Jack Frost is nipping. It was 12 degrees when I left the house this morning. Tell me about it. I kissed Dan goodbye and my tongue got stuck to him. On Roseanne following Who's the Boss? Tuesday. Introducing a sedan with the heart of a lion. The all-new Toyota Cressida. Inside, the majestic body beats a powerful 24-valve, 190-horsepower engine. Plus, legendary Toyota quality. Quality that has made Cressida the most trouble-free new car sold two years in a row. Cressida for 89, the king of luxury performance sedans and the pride of Toyota. So, two years in New York, and he thinks he can tell us how to run things. It's all right. I fix things. He's traveling overnight on the red eye. Not first class. Business class, of course. Company policy. He'll be hungry and tired. Club, British Airways' new business class delivers you ready for business. Pleasant trip. Yes, thank you. New club class for the businessman, only from the world's favorite airline. Merry Christmas from Seven on Your Side. We return to a Smoky Mountain Christmas. Now, come on, kids. I want to know the truth. Do you live here? Of course we live here. My name's Mary. His name is Fred, but we call him Beast because he's so big. Oh. Can I ask you a question? Where are your parents? Well, they, um... They're on a trip. Yeah, that's it. They went away. Oh, they went on a trip, huh? And left you here alone? Well, bird's got to live on its own before it learns how to leave the nest. Cindy like to know your name, ma'am. My name's Lorna, and I'm happy to meet you, Cindy. <laughs> here you go, Mary. Thanks, Jake. When our mama died... Mary! When she went away, she told us that one day an angel would come down from heaven and take care of us. A beautiful angel. And now you're here to stay with us forever and ever. Oh, I came up here, not down here, darling. And I made time, but I didn't fly. I drove that old beat-up pickup truck outside. We'll just make believe you're a regular person. But I am. Personally, I don't believe in angels. But after seeing you, well, walks like a duck, talks like a duck. Very pretty duck. Maybe you are an angel. Now, you are quite the little philosopher, ain't you? Now, you can stay and have supper if you like, ma'am. It really smells good. But then I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. And if you don't, we'll just have to call the police. The police? But, Jay, you call the police, they'll take us back to... Buster, could I see you for a minute? Come here. Now, kids, I happen to know for a fact you're telling me a fib. See, I used to live over the hill here in the next holler. So if anybody's out calling the police, it ought to be me. No! No, 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 no. please don't! Don't worry, don't worry. I'm not going to do that. See, we got something in common. Neither of us want to be found out. So I'm going to make a deal with you. I won't tell anybody you're here if you won't tell anybody I'm here. But that's just till after Christmas. Then after that, you got to tell me the truth, and then we'll figure something out. Deal? Family meeting. I 
can't say I agree, but we all voted. It's a deal. So y'all feel that way? No, I don't care how many cops just spoke to Murray. They're all wrong. And get this. I am the only reporter in town who knows where the supposedly kidnapped star is hiding out. And I'm going to bring you the whole scoop, Murray. You can have the whole enchilada, Murray. Murray, please. You got to first, you got to advance me $500 for transportation. Murray, that was last year, Murray. It was at Club Med. You had to go. They said she was walking on water. Murray, this is very big. I'm telling you. This is the biggest thing you have. You... You're going to regret it. Murray, please. I swear, I'll send you a card. Hey, Stringy, come here. I want to show you something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Well, I reckon you can, Jasper. Are you married? Well, as a matter of fact, I'm not. Why do you ask? It's your turn to clean. Here, let me do that. No, thanks, ma'am. It's Cindy's chore. Oh, my grandma taught me to skin a rabbit so fast. You'd think that sucker had a zipper in it. <laughs> <laughs> Finish your chores. Why don't you go inside? Come Yay. on. Yay. Please. Yeah. What's your problem, Jake? I don't have a problem. You make deals, you make promises, you get them to like you. You make them believe that you're going to stay forever. You know you're going to up and leave because everybody does. Now that's mighty old talk for such a young man, ain't it? Our mama did. So don't go make him believe you're going to be any different. Jake. Oh, come on, Jake. It could have been better, but it could have been a lot worse. When everybody has hard times, everybody hurts. Jake, listen to this. But together, we can build a better future. If we care enough, I know we'll make it work. So look on the bright side, be on the right side. Go to the inside for a better view. Look on the bright side, it's going to be all right. Whenever you decide to change your attitude Are you listening, Jake? Look on the bright side Oh, look on the bright side Turn on your love light And let it shine, let it shine Look on the bright side It's gonna be all right So open up your heart And leave the dark behind And look on the bright Okay, come on, take one. Now, we got two rules. You can't tell anybody whose name you got, and nobody can spend more than $100 on a gift. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Jake, there's one left for you. their bones for weapons. Just my luck, I could be two meals. You boys just lay it up. It's all right, honey. It's okay. I'll tell you what let's do. We're in here. We're locked safe and sound. There's nobody out there. Let's play a game. Want to? Let's pretend we're at the North Pole. What would you do if we was at the North Pole? Jasper, what would you do? Right now, I don't know what I'd do. Oh, come on. Concentrate. What would you like to do? I'd like to meet Santa's wife. That'd be nice. How about you, Freddie? I'd like to race on Santa's sleigh. You would. How about you, Buster? 
I like to meet all the elves. Ooh, boy, that sounds like fun. String bean? I've never been anywhere. I just like to go to the North Pole. Oh, Mary? I'd like to wish Mama a Merry Christmas. You can't. I know. I'll tell you what. Are you okay now, sweetie pie? Why don't you go sit with your brother, and we're gonna make up something. Okay. But I wouldn't care how much it snows. I'd just like to spend Christmas with Santa. And I'd like to meet Santa's wife. I just know she'd be real nice. Now, I wonder if they live in a house of ice. I'd like to spend Christmas with Santa. Oh, I'd like to spend Christmas with Santa this year. I'd like to spend Christmas with Santa. Yeah, I'd like to spend Christmas with Santa this year. And help him bring joy and cheer to everyone, everywhere. I'd like to spend Christmas with Santa. Yeah, I'd like to spend Christmas with Santa this year. totally new Cadillac Fleetwood, the state-of-the-art in six-passenger luxury. From the Fleetwood 60 Special's 22-way power assist seats to standard anti-lock brakes and V8 power. Decidedly, the most discriminating automobile in its class. Headache pain hits you with the old one, two. Fight back with three. Maximum strength anison three. 50% more pain relieving medicine than regular aspirin. And it's 100% aspirin free. Fight back with maximum strength anison three. That's a snow leopard? Yeah. That's a tiger. Come to Wendy's for your cuddly animals and help us help World Wildlife Fund protect the real ones. And that's mom. Uh-oh. Get your kids all four wild animals only at Wendy's. Your new book talks about dry skin. My skin gets so dry, I could scratch the word dry on it. Well, I use Vaseline Intensive Care Lotion. It starts healing dry skin on contact. Watch this film. Thermo photography shows how Vaseline Intensive Care Lotion soothes the dryness, the redness, actually accelerates healing. I can't write on it now. Even hours later, you won't be able to. You heard it here. Vaseline Intensive Care Lotion starts healing dry skin on contact. Italian dressings have oil, and Italian dressings have vinegar. But only one Italian dressing has the touch of ranch. Introducing Hidden Valley Ranch, ranch-style Italian. It's amazing how just a touch of ranch can turn ordinary Italian dressing into a delicious new taste in Italian. Hidden Valley Ranch, ranch-style Italian. The only one with a touch of ranch. Primetime's hottest twosome get a holiday surprise. You can't just bump us off right now and leave all these people in suspense. Why not? Why not? Everything's on the table on Moonlighting. Sure taught me how to handle a stick. And... It's Hanukkah! 
Guess who's having Christmas in the 60s? Oh, Mike, could you possibly have your nervous breakdown tomorrow? We're very busy tonight. Say hello to Mike Van Dyke. Oh, we're going to make the eggnog. Ooh, yeah. On a very special 30-something after an all-new Moonlighting Tuesday. cold getting worse oh you got a fever how long have you had this i don't know ma'am don't you worry we'll take care of her cindy get the ointment freddie give me an extra blanket i can't find it jake Jake, I'm going to take her to town to the doctor. Oh, you're not that sick, are you, Mary? No, no, you can't do that. The please. doctor's not any good. She'll throw a fit. She hates the doctor. Come on, I'm going to keep my promise. I won't tell a soul we're up here. Come on, honey, let's get your dress on. He's not going to drill me, is he? No, that's a dentist, but he might fool that cute little nose. Come on. Best doc in town, huh? I think Dr. Doolittle's more like it. The only doc. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong with her? She's got a fever, bad cold. Change her feed. Change her feed. That's good advice. Where'd you boys get so smart? 4-H. What's the matter with your duck? Oh, she's not been happy lately. Nothing worse than an unhappy duck. <laughs> I guess not. And the goat? Oh, there's nothing the matter with my goat. I got an earache. Mrs. Smith? Mrs. Smith? No, that's you. It's right through that door. I'll meet you there. Oh, we still caught it in time. This prescription should take care of it. This fever should be coming down by tomorrow. Sure and bring her back if she gets worse. Thank you. Now, Mary, I want you to have a very, very Merry Christmas. Ding-a-ling, <laughs> <laughs> ding-a-ling. They <gasps> think like us. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help but notice that you got more four-legged patients out there than you do two-legged. Are you a vet? Uh, yes, I am. Fought in World War II, 23rd Battalion. And then I went to med school and vet school. Go flat broke out here in the country, just tending the two-leggeds. I guess so. Where you go? Take your pick. Oh. Well, what about me? Ah, sure. <laughs> hey, that matches your shirt. Well, it does, don't it? Thank you, Dr. Duck. You're welcome. Come on, honey. Mary, don't get in the street. Wait for me. Wait for me. Oh, look, there's Santa. My grandma used to tell me it was good luck to rub Santa's beard. Do you feel up to it? Yes. Good. Let's go do that. Oh, watch your step. Watch your eyes. Oh, look. Look at the elves. There's Santa. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Here we come, Santa. Give that beard a good rub. <laughs> Good. That's a lucky girl. Yeah. Whoa. Uh oh. Afternoon, Luella. Remember your name, but uh, not the little girl, she here. Uh, yes, yeah, she is. Well, uh, I don't recollect her being in that truck when you pulled into town. Well, she was. She was asleep. She was in the back with a bunch of junk all scrunched up real tight. Oh. Well, I know all the folks around here. Who, who you staying with? Well, they're mountain people. They're pretty private folks. They like sticking pretty much to themselves, kind of like me. 
Well, we got a lot of Christmas shopping to do, Sheriff. Come on, honey. Yes, Mama. Now, you look awfully familiar. And not a whole lot like your mama. Oh, well, I'll probably come to me later. And I'm uh, sure that uh, I'll be seeing you again. I don't like him. You shouldn't ought to not like people, honey, but if you're going to, he's the one not to like. <laughs> Howdy. Howdy. Can I get you something? Uh, fruit beer. Fruit beer. Yeah, uh, some ice for it, okay? Uh, I used to have one of those around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. New here? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a friend of mine. She lives somewhere up in these mountains. By the way, they are beautiful. You happen to know her by any chance? You ever seen her? Oh, I wish I had. She does look uh, familiar, though. Can you believe it? She won the lottery, and I got to find her and let her know about it. Well, you know, I'd be real careful if I was you uh, driving around these mountains up here in this time of year. You're telling me. I nearly didn't make it up here. Yep. You're going to need a four-wheeler. And I bet you're just the one that's going to rent it to me. Yep. But I ain't got one right now. Oh, a glass of milk. Here you go, Frankie. Now, thank you, Earl. You want to warm up, John? Yeah, thank you, Earl. Thanks, Earl. All right, now, here's my idea, John. It fits over the top of the light bubbles on our cars. What for? That way it'll flash red and green, red and green, red and green. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. It's good, Frank. It's, uh, that's real good. You know, maybe instead of a siren, we could hook up something to play Jingle Bells. Uh, don't be kidding around. I'm telling you, we're great for public relations. People gonna love it. Besides, elections are coming up real soon. Do you know how much you have hurt me, John Jensen? You saw that blonde woman again. Uh, excuse me, lady, can I get a shot of you over here? Don't interfere. I gotta start using plastic. Jake, don't you want to stay down here and work with us? Thanks, but I work better by myself. Oh, now. Yeah, string bean. What you got there? You think this is too much? Oh, I think that's just enough, and that's gonna make that tree look real special. I hope so. I've been meaning to ask you something, string bean. How did you manage to get into this family? You mean this family? Yeah, this one. Well, we were all friends. They had a family meeting and adopted me. Oh, so that's how it happened. I was wondering about that. I'm glad they did. Me too. Open up. Ah! <laughs> Don't eat all the decorations. <laughs> Freddie, you think you could do some cutting and sewing for me on that? It's a big job. Yeah, but do you think you could do it? Well, I sure can try. That's my boy. So you really like that, huh? 
Cindy, I've been thinking, I think it's time you had your own room. When I was just about your age, we lived in a cabin just about like this, and I never will forget the day my daddy hung my curtain. Boy, I thought I was a real princess. Why don't we run back here and try this on for size? <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to use? Do you have something else under this quilt? Uh-huh. Well, can we use this? Yeah. This would be pretty. Well, let's hang you a room. Ready? One, two, two three. Ah, oh, hey, <laughs> that's pretty good, considering we're only professional. <laughs> oh, Cindy, what are these? Uh, they must hang. Oh, they're beautiful. Honey, you should hang these up. You have got a lot of talent. And you are so pretty, too. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. Maybe that dress will make a difference. Oh, it will. In the way you feel about yourself. That's called having confidence, and that's real good. But when you get right down to it, it's not the package that really matters. It's what's inside the wrapping. It's what's down deep in your heart. That's what really counts. Is that true? That's very, very true. Maybe, but just the same. It's nice to have a pretty dress. I want you to hear something. See if it makes any sense to you. finish it tonight and I'll sing it all to you tomorrow. Okay. Let's get you ready for bed. I'll unzip you and you can throw on that nightgown and get to sleep, okay? Okay. Good night, Angel. Good night.
It's okay. Don't say a word. Just drink this. Why? Because it's good for you. Because I said so. Wild root herbs. At least you know it ain't poison. I used to drink this all the time. I grew up in these mountains. What are you thinking about being out here all alone? Well, to be honest, I thought I was following somebody. It was a woman, but I must have just dreamed it. Oh, it was real, all right. Anything a witch woman does is real. Witch women, mountain magic. I've been hearing that stuff since I was a little kid. My grandma used to believe in it so strong, she wore this long strand of charms around her neck just to protect her from the evil spirits. You mean like these? Uh, yeah, exactly like that. But personally, I don't believe in it. Yeah, well, suit yourself. If I hadn't come along, you'd have been lost for good. Looked to me like you were under a witch woman's spell. You know, these mountains are no place for somebody like you, Miss Davis. You know who I am. Well, I just live in the mountains, not on another planet. My goodness, boy, it just goes to show no matter where you go, you can't run away. Well, I know a little bit about running away. It ain't that hard. Who are you? Dan. Not Mountain Dan. Just plain Dan. Mountain Dan, the wild man of the mountains that carries a rattlesnake for a whip, that eats little children and uses their bones for weapons? That one? <laughs> That's what they say now. Yeah. Used to, I had red eyes and pointy teeth. <laughs> <laughs> you should read some of the stuff they say about me. <laughs> oh, boy, I still feel a little woozy. I'm sorry, but I really do need to get home. You know, I've been keeping an eye on those kids for about six months now. I'd hate to see them go back to the children's home. So that's it. I figured it was something like that. Oh, I hate to think what's going to happen to them after... Well, after what? Oh, nothing. How about coming to meet them tomorrow? We're going to decorate the cabin for Christmas. Oh. Thanks, ma'am, but no thanks. I haven't been around people in so long, I wouldn't know how to act. Oh, don't worry about that. I'd stay out of the woods by myself if I were you. Your, your jacket! You gotta be kidding. Yeah. That piece of junk out there goes back to Henry Ford. I can't get up in a mountain in that. Well, I didn't say you could. The truck I was talking about didn't show up. That's great. Oh, I got something you can use. It'll get you right up there in those hills, no problem. You get full tank, no refills? Yep. Unlimited mileage? Yep. You'll make other receipts for more? Oh, yep. I'll take it. That's all you need. A pillow? Yep. <laughs> Jake, can you come here for a second? Right there. Mountain Dan. Uh-oh. Look at the back. I bet there's a human skull in there. No, listen. Rattlesnakes. It's a nest. He's gonna run them loose in here. Everybody take cover. Everybody ready? Hold it right there, mister. When future slipper experts are in basic training, they warm up with one of the warmest slippers around, Isotoner Booties. 
Isotoner booties gently massage as they hug your feet. So they're perfect for feet that get dog tired. So this holiday, deliver Isotoners and you'll deliver on comfort. Isotoner warm blind booties, the gift of comfort. There go those human zooms trying to get the pictures they want. Now Pentax has an IQ zoom for everyone with a built-in zoom lens so you can get the pictures you want. Pentax, the IQ zoom 70 and now the IQ zoom 60. We asked 100 doctors with sore, aching wrists which pain reliever they'd recommend. They chose the Skill Twist Cordless Power Screwdriver. Now available in extra strength. The Skill Super Twist at hardware stores and home centers. The gift wrappings of Hallmark. Hundreds of ways to let you create a look that's you and only you. Gift wrappings that make presents look special. That say, this is from me to you. With love. Gift wrappings you can find only at Hallmark. Where there's more to Christmas than ever before. You gotta get near it. There's a whole lot of nothing going on. You want a snack? You gotta get that pack. There's a whole lot of nothing going on. Incredibly delicious and so full of energy, Planner's Nuts are one irresistible snack. Once you hear it, you gotta get near it. There's a whole lot of nothing going on. Planters. Wednesday. Underwear. <laughs> We'll have fun with underwear. No, wear it backwards. Growing pains, then. It's unbelievable the way you've changed from a complete dweeb to a semi-stud. Head of the class. And People Magazine says it's not just wonderful, it's the best show on TV today, The Wonder Years. Then, life's a drag for Hooperman. Your slip is showing. It's supposed to. Slut. All coming Wednesday. A Smoky Mountain Christmas starring Dolly Parton returns in a moment. You might recall his performance that turned a dream into gold. This week, Olympic medalist Brian Boitano. Plus Faye Dunaway and Sigourney Weaver on Good Morning America. And ABC News Brief. Now for Washington, Tom Gerald. Good evening. As Israeli leaders stepped up their denunciations of the U.S. decision to deal with the PLO, Israeli soldiers killed three Palestinians and wounded more than 20 others in the occupied territories today, part of a new wave of violence there following the historic U.S. decision. Meanwhile, PLO leader Yasser Arafat met with Egypt's President Mubarak in Cairo. Mubarak called on Israel to be more flexible and to hold peace talks with the PLO. More later on the weekend report. It's poetry. Paparazzi, pasta, Roman noses, and the roaming of Columbus from the land of marble and masterpieces. Puccini, gelati, a new craze in clothes, a new race of cars. From the land where man was born comes Tuscany, the fragrance for men, created in Italy for Aramis. Now available at Woodward and Lothrop. Hi, I'm Ed Turney. You know the holiday season's a time for giving, not just to your family and friends, but to the area's needy families. When you go into your Safeway store, you can donate your can or box goods to Neediest Kids Food and Funds Drive. Just put your goodies in the basket, and it'll help make a happy holiday season for everyone. This year, give generously to the neediest kids, okay? All right. Wait a minute. Here. Let's back up for a second. It's just a little bit more. Magnum helps his Navy body escape a Vietnam enemy. Monday at 4. To a Smoky Mountain Christmas. Come in and watch your step. Yes, ma'am. Open that bag real slow. Take out whatever's inside. Put it on that stool so everyone can see it. Yes, sir.
may not be the best fruitcake in the world. Sure don't warrant no shotgun welcome. What is going on here? Hello, ma'am. I just thought if it was okay, I'd uh, take you up on your invite. Y you invited him? Have you gone from crazy? It's okay. I don't know. The fruitcake looks pretty good. Yeah, well, it's my recipe. I, uh, it's just my way of saying Merry Christmas. Well, thank you very much. I think that's very nice of you. Jake, would you put the gun down? Jake, please. you gentlemen and you two pretty ladies. Give me a break. The kids around the fireplace stringing popcorn for the tree. I'm dreaming of a smoky mountain Christmas with nothing much that money buys, but everything worthwhile in life. Dreaming of a smoky mountain Christmas. You can take the girl from the country, I have heard him say, but you'll never take the country from the girl. And me, I've been a rambler for She's spoken for you now. Well, I hear you, Bart. Just checking. I keep dreaming of a cabin in my Smoky Mountain home. Remembering my life there as a child. Just as free as the butterflies, the humming. Well, I've seen your traps in the woods. As different as the snowflakes on the windows of my life. You know, you might could do a little better with a different kind of knot. I do all right. Oh, yeah, I bet you do. What do you say I show you another knot that you might could have some real fun with? Yes, I'm dreaming of a smoky mountain Christmas with the kids around the fire. Play stringing popcorn for the tree. I'm dreaming of a smoky mountain Christmas with nothing much that money buys, but everything worthwhile in life. Dreaming of a smoky mountain Christmas. Yes, I'm dreaming of a smoky mountain. You keep practicing, Jake. I'm so happy you could join us today. Well, you have no idea what it did for me. I mean, I'd forgotten living up here that it wasn't all traffic and buildings and people running to stay in one place. Why, you old fooler. You mean to tell me you're from a big city? <laughs> yeah, but don't tell them, huh? Jake thinks I'm Daniel Boone himself. Well, I thought you was too. But I promise I won't tell. If you promise, you'll come for Christmas dinner. Well, I wouldn't miss it. Good, it's a deal. See you, Jasper. Bye. Goodbye. Hey, it's pretty good. Yeah, is he coming back? For Christmas dinner, yeah. Out of this one. No more gossip. 
No more lies. Only the truth, the pure truth. Just get me out of this night, please. Give me one sign to help me out of here, please. You. That's great. I asked for a sign to get the cast of the Adams family. Excuse me, maybe you can help me out here. Uh, does Miss Lorna Davis live uh, uh, around here? Does uh, anybody live around here? Uh, do you remember me? Uh, we met uh, at the bar. We weren't actually introduced uh, uh, formally. You're a friend of hers. Friend of who? You know very well who. The one whose very life's breath makes me rage with anger. Whose eyes I would pluck out. Whose heart I would tear asunder. I don't know who you're talking about. Stop but... it! Any friend of hers is an enemy of mine. And you are on the wrong side. Hey! Hey, hey! Stop, stop! Please! Lady, make him stop! Make him stop! Ah! Okay. Maybe, maybe... Maybe I didn't phrase it right. Let me try again. If you let me live through this night, I promise no more gossip, no more lies, only the honest truth. Can I say it any more plain than that? God, it's Christmas. Thank you! Hello? Hello? Who is it? Oh, uh, you don't know me, uh, but uh, could you open up the door, please? It's, it's very cold out here. You should know I have a gun. You're packing. I won't hesitate to use it. I swear I'm not packing. Uh, I don't even know what it means. C could you just open the door, please? Don't kill me. And then... Boom! She disappeared. Very strange woman you have around here. The minute I mentioned the name Lorna Davis, she went absolutely berserker, wild. I've never seen anything like it. It was like waving a, a hamburger in front of a shark. Good. Right away. You haven't seen this woman, have you? Uh, no. There might be something in it for you. Why are you looking for her? She done something. No, they never do anything. But it's my job to make Lorna Davis' daily habits into a three-inch lurid headline. You ever think that maybe she just wants to be left alone? Yeah. Uh, and I don't want to break my word to the big guy on the first day, anyway. Who? Don't forget about it. But there is definitely a story in hiding out here. Seeing that every cop in the country thinks she's kidnapped. Is that so? Yeah. What is this? That's a buckshot. He used it to fail that muskrat. Buckshot? Muskrat? Very good. A little full now, but excellent. <laughs> excellent recipe. What's this all about? We want you to be our mama. Your mama? Oh, kids. I don't know what to say. I really don't. I'm flattered, but that's not the kind of thing you vote on. I know we weren't supposed to talk about it till after Christmas, but... Well, we can see you like us a lot. So we all voted to stay with you, even Jake. Oh, I do like you a lot, but it's just not that easy. 
fancy judges decide on things like that. Come on, the judge will be able to see that we were meant to be together. And you said your house was real big, so if we can't stay here, then, then we'll, we'll go, go with you. you. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing in this world I want more than for us to be together. Well, I think about that all the time myself. I just don't want us to get our hopes up too high, that's all. I knew it. I knew you'd make excuses. What'd I tell you? She don't want to stay around here with us. Oh, now, Jake, come on, you know that's not true. You know something? You were great at making us believe you were going to stick around. Please, Jake. You going to run out again? I'm going hunting. Cindy, throw my stuff down. Oh, come on, kids. The rest of you understand, right? Just kids. Shut up, Frank. What is going on out here? You're all under arrest. What we do? Not you, them. Yeah, we've been after these little fugitives going on for six months now. Fugitives? Runaways. Broke out of the children's home twice. Been stealing food and also breaking into houses and taking everything they can get their little hands on. That's not true. We never stole nothing. These are just little kids. You can't just come in here dragging them out. Of course I can. I'm the law here, Miss Davis. Oh, yeah, yeah. We know all about that phony Hollywood story. Frank! All right, let's go. Uh, uh, I, I can't you. Miss Davis, you, I have to get in here. You, you don't understand. These, are, these little kids have nobody. It's my job. I, I'm sure it is, but why don't you just go on home? This is Sultan a, a police officer? You know, you've just moved yourself up from protective custody to obstructing justice. <laughs> You're under arrest yourself. What? Oh, be nice taking you in. You should have been a little nicer to me. Just get your hands you. off of me. They're just kids. All right, let's make this real easy, all right? Everybody get their coats. Get your coat. You're never taking me alive. Run, just. All we got here is a failure to communicate. Oh. Hurry up. Just everybody Thanks. hold hands. Let's go. Be calm. Oh, you got to walk on my own. Come on, children. Let me go. You got to walk on my own. Bet you there's a better way. I can walk. I want to go to town for a long time. How about you, kid? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You let go, that hurts you. Oh, I like it when you're angry. You just turn me loose. Yeah! Yeah! It's going to be okay, kids. Merry Christmas to you, too. Get a pick here, horse. You take the other one. Sniffles come, and they always do. You'll remember the triaminic. They'll remember the love. When they're coughing and sneezing and feeling blue. You'll remember the triaminic. They'll remember the love. Triaminic cough and cold medicine. Because you love your kids. Because you trust your doctor. And children's doctors say triaminic is their number one choice. You'll remember the triaminic.
flow rock, please. The yes, it smells so good. Fresh scent flow rock. He said. Fresh scent flow rock. Oh yeah. Fresh scent flow rock, please. The yes, it smells so good. Fresh scent flow rock. He said. Fresh scent flow rock. Oh yeah. Fresh scent flow rock, please. The yes, it smells so good. Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh, o'er the fields we go. My children, a very special season's greetings. Now the Applegate sisters ran the local home for children. They took them in when they had no place else to go. The only problem was they didn't like kids. Come on, let's go. She only goes with me. That's where they took him. Harry, you can find your way back from here. What? I missed this? All right. But you gotta pull your own weight. What's it like inside, Jake? They keep every door locked. There's no way of knowing which room they're in. Harry, I want you to go down and check it out. Me? Yeah, make up a story. That is what you do for a living, isn't it? Yeah. Be careful. The Applegate's got guns. Guns? Harry, you're not gonna let a little thing like that come between you and the scoop of your life now, are you? No, I'll have a meeting out of my hands in no time. There's not a woman born that I can't sweet talk. Yeah. Cover me. Sure. Child welfare inspection. That's right. 
Maddie, get the correspondence file. I got it right here, Hattie. I don't see no sign of any inspection. Oh, that's surprising. Well, it, it's sort of a surprise inspection, you know, it being Christmas and all. Let's see your credentials. Surely. I must have lost them in a flood. I don't believe him. Aren't you the clever one? They're splitting them up tomorrow, and they said only relatives could see them. If they had relatives, they wouldn't be in there. I got an idea. Why don't we go in there, six guns are blazing, range between our teeth, and bust them out of there! Shh. Plus, that's not a bad idea, but not here. In town. Yeah. Lorna's is the closest relative these kids have got. Are you kidding? She don't care. Jake, you may just be wrong about that. Come on, Mary. Come, Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus. Right down Santa Claus Lane. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes... You take one more step, you're going to get your Christmas punch early. Ooh, speaking of punch. yoo -hoo! Anybody here? I'll be right back. Oh, whoop-de-doo. <laughs> Santa be back, Santa be back. He be back real soon. Santa be back, Santa be back. He be back, Santa be right back. Hi, can I, uh, can I help you, ma'am? I just want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm a bit busy, though. This is an emergency. <laughs> Buford County calling Sheriff John Jensen. There has been a prison break. Prison break. We need you, Sheriff John Jensen. Uh, <clears throat> uh Sheriff Jensen's not, uh, in right. It's Christmas Eve. This is priority. Well, I'll make sure he gets the message. Now, if you'll excuse me, ma'am. How can I go home alone with those escaped convicts out there? In the last election, I cast my ballot for you. Oh, thank you, ma'am. There's another one coming up. Miserable toad. Lorna Davis. Hello. It is you. I just love the way you sing those songs. Well, thank you very much. When I heard you were in here, all alone at Christmas, I said to my husband, Floyd, I just can't let that pretty little thing sit in that jail without baking her one of my special pies. Oh, ain't that the sweetest thing? That looks so good. <laughs> it's Floyd's favorite pie. He says it makes him sleep better. Oh. Oh, let's try it this way. OK. Now, are you sure you didn't bake a file in here for me? <laughs> oh, mercy, no. Just apples and spice and everything nice. Oh, it sure looks good. Oh, I brought you some silverware. Oh, great. I was wondering how I was going to eat your famous pie without silverware. <laughs> Thank you. Harry, bring my horse. Jake, you stay with the other horses. Keep an eye out. Please, Dan. Do as I say. Go on.
did you put in it to give it this unusual bitter taste? What's wrong, dear? Not feeling well? The sun never so sleepy. Well, why don't you just lie down, sweetie? to fight it. It's just a soothing, restful sleep that will last for many, many years. Christmas is my two front teeth. Just a reminder, chewing great tasting Trident after sugary snacks helps fight cavities hmm. and have a happy holiday. Trident, millions of teeth can't be wrong. Choose any one of these syrups for your cough and you might as well choose them all because they all use the same cough suppressant, all except Benelin. Only Benelin gives you the choice of diphenhydramine, the choice to help stop your cough. something they can rely on. The dependable and affordable XL from Hyundai. Norelco's new coffee makers do more than make coffee. They bring out the best in your coffee. All new coffee makers with System 190. Balancing time, pressure, and just the right temperature to bring out all the aroma and richness you look for in every cup. Noralco coffee makers bring out the best in your coffee. men from Prince Machiavelli. Keeps the kids off the street. Now I have a lot more friends than I did. I love it. Kids need the boys club. We need your help. It's a time of celebration. A time to welcome a peaceful and joyous new year. From all of us at Dynasty, happy, happy holidays. holidays. A Smoky Mountain Christmas returns in a moment. 
the final month of the Ronald Reagan presidency. In a farewell interview from the Oval Office, I will ask him about all he has learned in eight years. Thursday at 10, 9 Central and Mountain. Dozens of Washington area residents came home from Soviet Armenia today after helping to rescue thousands of people from that earthquake ravaged area. Good evening, I'm Meredith Buell. Coming up tonight on the late edition, we'll have the latest from Armenia, where Soviets are turning their attention away from rescue and toward reconstruction. And Christmas is just one week away. We'll tell you how to make sure your tree is safe from fire. The NFL, the playoffs are shaping up. Kevin Kiley says there may be some surprises. And Jerry Brown has our chances for a white Christmas. It's all coming up tonight at 11. obsession for men. I'd know him in the dark. At Woodward and Lothrop. To all those Santas out there and your little helpers who are preparing a first Christmas for some tiny tot, good luck, have a peaceful season, and happy holidays. Entertainment this week, tonight at 11.30. Are you nuts? That's fairy tale stuff. Yeah, maybe. You mean she'll never wake up? I don't know, son. Go ahead, Prince Charming, give it a shot. Dan's right. You're the closest thing I've had to a real mama in a long time. I really need you. You'll never know how sorry I am I yelled at you. Mona? Please, Mama. give up, do you? Oh, no, he's been a big help. What happened to me? I've been spending a lot of time under spells lately. Yeah, we're eating too many sweets. We gotta hurry. We gotta get to the children's home. They're splitting up the kids tomorrow. We figure you're the only one who could do something. Well, let's get out of here. What's this? That pie didn't work? Boy, it certainly was different. Your magic must be strong indeed for you to escape that spell. Or yours isn't. Your intentions are clear, white witch. Come on, I know people talk, but I'm no witch. Oh, you don't fool me. You tried to take my man, and now you're trying to steal my magic. Why don't you take your magic home and use it on yourself? You! Prepare to die! Wait. You can do anything you want with me, but I do have one last request. How oh, sweet. I have to have one more taste of that delicious apple pie. Please. Don't feel bad. I mean, the magic didn't work, but whatever you put in this pie is so tasty. 
Well, I was just telling my friends out here before you came up how good this pie really was. Wasn't I, boys? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. sick and tired of hearing oh, about yeah. it. He went on and on. So if I'm going to die, I'm going to have one last taste of heaven. Oh, stop it. Give me this pie. What did I do wrong? Good night, Irene. Realize that you have kids in there and it being Christmas and all and Miss Lorna Davis Hi. was passing through I said to myself Harry what an opportunity what a chance to have her come and give the kids a beautiful Christmas show don't know no Lorna Davis you gotta be kidding Lorna Davis the country music singer don't like music the movie star don't like movies well then you gotta recognize her partner he came from a very long distance to give these kids a beautiful Christmas. <laughs> we don't have no regulations for that. Or permission. Come on, rules, regulations, permission. Have some heart. Why? It's Christmas. We won't let him out. It's against the rules. But we will let you and him in so the children can see you. Great. But not all at once. One child at a time. I don't want to get them all riled up. Right. Excuse me, Frank. Uh, where's Lorna? Where's Lorna? Where's the wall? she is. Well, I'll tell you where she is. I'll bet you she's headed over to the Apple Gates to pick up those kids. You head on over there. I'll set up a roadblock in case she's got a lead on us. Got it. Frank. Never. Never. We're getting them out of here one at a time. We'll figure something out.
Jasper. We're going to get you out. Hey, guys. Get your stuff. for your colds as Tylenol is for your headaches, you're about to discover one medicine with the power of four. Now from the makers of powerful pain relief comes fast, effective cold relief. Tylenol cold medication. With the strength of four powerful medicines, Tylenol cold helps stop the runny nose, congestion, hacking cough, and aching pain. Tylenol cold, the newest name in cold relief. Also in no drowsiness formula, this Christmas, follow the expert for the gift of comfort. She'll choose Isotoner Comfort Slippers. They gently massage tired feet so they feel relaxed all over. Isotoner Comfort Slippers. You know, everyone tells me what a beautiful car my Toyota Corolla is. True. But I tell them I got my 89 Corolla because I'm completely logical. I look for reliability and quality in a car. But between you and me, I fell in love with my Corolla the first time I laid eyes on it. My Toyota, I love it. Toyota, who could ask for anything more? My dearest Blake, I've had this fragrance created especially for you. I think it's as sexy as you are. And every time you wear it, remember, I'll love you forever, too. Carrington the essence of a man. Wednesday. I want that slasher in lockup, and I want my men out of chiffon. Life's a drag for Hooperman. Your slip is showing. It's supposed to. Slut. Then. Oh, you better watch out. Somebody want to disarm Chris Kringle and put him over by the tree? Hey, Chris! China Beach. Wednesday after Hooperman. Sam. Jack. Somebody come in. Where is everybody? They're all at home, John. It's Christmas Eve. Sorry. Frank, where are you? Well, I'm out front the children's home. Uh, you won't believe it, John, but the Applegate's got this wild and confused story about Santa Claus and his elves making off with the kids. I don't know about you, John, but that just doesn't sound like Santa's M.O. to me. Santa's M.O. Talking to you is like talking to mud. Now, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get behind them. You're gonna run them through here. And I'm gonna hit them off the end of the street before they can get to the county line. If you got that? Well, how are you gonna do that, John? Just do it. Now go. <laughs> Santa, are you done dashing through the snow?
good. Now, all of you, come on down here because we have a date with the judge. Quiet. Could all of you please be seated? Here they're on the bridge. Quiet. Please, Quentin. Right, Would you mind quiet. sitting down? I just have a thing about people standing behind there me. There are three more going over the bridge. I'll look at them at my convenience. Okay. Please, sir, take a seat. Thank you so very much. Now, isn't that better? Thank you. Firstly, <clears throat> let me express my deep appreciation at being woken up three hours early on Christmas morning day so I could get to meet Santa Claus, Mrs. Santa Claus, and all the little elves over there. How you doing? Good to see you and being allowed the privilege of listening to your respective arguments. Now, let's uh, start with the compounded charges brought against you. Resisting arrest. Now, this is unclear. Was there actually grand theft auto involved? Uh, Your Honor, we didn't steal a car. Your Honor, point of information, a sleigh is not a vehicle covered under the code. Ah, oh, thank you. Could that be counselor, Dan? It's very hard to recognize a lawyer wearing booties. You didn't tell me you were a lawyer. Why do you think I left the city? Could we please proceed? Thank you so very much. Destruction of property whilst tearing down the county jailhouse and riding the aforementioned sleigh on public roads without a license. Now, these must be balanced against the counter charges, which are false arrest. Uh, that's right, Your Honor. Uh, those photographs will back that up. Yes, I, I have them, and they are of the highest quality. Appreciate it. False arrest, false imprisonment, eight counts of kidnapping, not to mention miscarriage of justice. Sheriff John, I suggest you look for a new line of work real soon, if you catch my drift. Your Honor, what about my jail? What about them fugitives, and what about... What about you being quiet and sitting down right now? Can you do that for us? Can you show the kids how a sheriff can sit down right now? <laughs> Kids, I think it's going to happen. Let's wait and see. Here it comes. He is now almost, yes, there it is. There is the actual sit itself. Thank you. <laughs> now, it is my decision that in consideration of the fact that Miss Davis here is willing to make restitution to cover all damages, including repairing the county jailhouse and building a new children's home since the Applegate sisters won't be running theirs any longer. Help. It is the decision of the court that all charges are hereby dropped against all parties. Yeah. Now, about the children. Uh, Your Honor, I would like to have custody of the children. I see, and, and if I may ask why you think you're qualified to take such a job? She's qualified. She took me to the doctor and got me better. Trust me, Your Honor, she's a really great cook. Your Honor, what more can we say? She's the best mom in the whole world. She sure yeah! yeah! I believe you. I think that's one, but I was not addressing you children at this moment, but I think it's real Christmassy that y'all feel this way. Thank you. Miss Davis, please. Well, shoot, Judge, I don't know that I am qualified, as you say. It, it's just that the last few days, Your Honor, that I've been out here with these little children, they've just changed my whole attitude toward life for the better. I mean, these little people have opened me up. They've, they've taken me in. They've, they've showed me an emptiness in my life that I didn't even know was missing. Something I'd grown away from, home and family. I don't want to be away from that anymore. And I don't know how we're going to work this out, legal or otherwise, but we just have to because we all have to be together. I believe that with all my heart, I truly do. Your Honor, I, I have spent sufficient time with Miss Davis and the children to be assured that it would be in the best interest of the children for custody to be granted to the petitioner. Judge, they have a new uncle. Well, this is the most unusual case. I. Temporary custody granted. Yeah! 
Provided that, provided that you give these kids a stable home life and you can rest assured we'll be checking on you. is dismissed. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Fragrances in France. He wears cool, clean old spice. Man's number one fragrance in America. Man's number one fragrance in the world. Old spice. Greet the season and your friends with the best. Andre Champagne for the holidays and all year long. Have you ever seen those commercials where one battery outlasts the rest? We'd just like you to know Energizer batteries were never invited to their playoffs. A word to the wise, Energize. If you used to take capsules, the makers of Tylenol have just come up with something better. New extra strength Tylenol gel caps. They're gelatin coated. And compared to capsules, gel caps are 33% smaller with all that extra strength pain relief concentrated into a solid center under a smooth gelatin coating. So gel caps are actually easier to swallow. If you used to take capsules, try new extra strength Tylenol gel caps. It's not a capsule, it's better. If you love lots of shrimp, Red Lobster is going to make you very happy. 
Introducing the Shrimp Spectacular Platter, just $7.95. Four ways to love shrimp, all on one plate. Crispy fried, spicy Cajun popcorn, zesty lemon pepper, and announcing our delicious new grilled shrimp. That's our Shrimp Spectacular Platter, just $7.95. Kid Shrimp, $1.95. It's spectacular, now at Red Lobster. And for the holidays, call for party platters to go. Ready in just one hour. Christmas night. Fasten those seatbelts. Be a sport. A million bucks. The world's hottest Christmas sleds cruise the country. Burt Reynolds, Tom DeLuise. Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr. <gasps> Tony Danza, Catherine Bach. All right. Don Knight, Shirley MacLaine, and... Oh, me, sir. In Cannonball Run 2. What's going go wrong? One week from tonight. The focus is shifting tonight in quake-stricken Armenia. Good evening, I'm Everett Fuel, and coming up next on the late edition, we'll tell you about grim prospects for finding signs of life underneath the rubble. And a local team of rescuers has returned, will bring you their impressions. And the playoff picture is clear in the NFL. Join Kevin Kiley for sports and Jerry Brown's forecast coming up next. Weekend report tonight on most of these ABC stations. This is ABC. Lulu, captivating, but never to be captured. Lulu, are you a child playing games or a knowing seductive woman? In your beauty, there is temptation. In your innocence, danger. When we're apart, your fragrance haunts me. Lulu, is it you? Oui, c'est moi. Lulu. The new fragrance from Casherelle. Now at Woodward and Lothrop. Now Burger King brings back the burger with genuine Western flavor. The Bullseye Barbecue Burger. We do it like you do it. Two flame broiled burgers on a Western bun with melted cheese, sizzling bacon, and topped with smoky Western style barbecue sauce. The Bullseye Barbecue Burger. Get it for a limited time at Burger King. Do it like you would do it when we do it like we do it at Burger King. La 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 TJ Maxx. Over 10,000 new Christmas gift ideas arrive at TJ Maxx every week, so it's. Atari 7800. More games at about half the price. Look out! It's Spinosaurus! <laughs> Play school dinosaurs are big and strong and tough. Spines and teeth and tails, jaws and horns and sails. We can play with them real rough. Now Play School's got seven new realer, scarier dinosaurs and new cavesters too. Play School's definitely dinosaurs. Each comes with a dinosaur book. Play school dinosaurs are big and strong and tough. We can play with them real rough. Ah, scared you, didn't I? Hi, my name is Roland. Water fruit wrinkles wrinkle. Did someone forget to iron them? Did they stay in the bathtub too long? No. The wrinkles are where they hide all the real fruit and fun. <laughs> Want to see some pudding? How can it be? I can't believe my eyes. Pudding roll-ups. Pudding in disguise. Betty Crocker pudding roll-ups. Delicious creamy pudding in disguise. Pudding roll-ups. It's exciting, it's exhilarating, and it's sheer entertainment for the entire family. It's the all-new 117th edition of Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus. With more extraordinary acts, more ferocious animals, and more hilarious clowns than ever before. And for selected performances, you'll receive $2 off your tickets. Compliments of WNUV 54, B104 Radio, and Ocean Spray. Pick up your discount coupons at Ocean Spray displays at participating grocery stores. Come see the wonders of the world at the all-new 117th edition of Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus.
I see you having another one of your little fancy parties. Gonna have all your highfalutin friends walking around talking big and acting rich and burn. Speaking of rich, that's what you'd be if you'd gotten all your TVs, VCRs, stereos, and appliances from Luskins. Luskins has got the cheapest guy in town prices. So with the best selection and the cheapest prices, Luskins is your best bet. Know what I mean? How's that punch, Vern? <sighs> Superb. Strap your snowboards on, grab a stick of juicy fruit. The taste is gonna move ya. Take a sniff. Yeah.